they're they're un unable to do the things that they need to do, um, especially when in homicide cases they're confronted with the legal system, um, the police investigation, um, the media. Many times it, the media is involved because of the story, um, the the prosecutor's office, all these things that just learning about that whole system in itself for someone who's in who's been traumatized is really difficult um, to learn, you know, the language and what a um, continuance of hearings are, what, what all is involved that none of us really know unless you're really involved in, in, in the legal system, what takes place and, and within the investigation. And would you say that the legal system, would you say, is, is that as traumatic as the loss of their loved one? Is It could be. Depends on on the case, it could be just as traumatic. Um, just being intrusive, you know, it's not, what happened is not just their story anymore. It's not the story of the, their family and their loved one. It's, it's a public story now. It becomes part of the um, loss of control of not being able to, um, of just being in the hands of other people who are gonna, you know, be responsible for if the perpetrator's been caught, for what the process is, what needs to happen. And for some families, just this whole, um, if you, uh, we've ha I've had many, uh, some clients who the perpetrator has um, been declared mentally incompetent. To us. So they go from going through a, a psychiatric institution to going back to jail and going back and forth. And it's, okay, they're ready for trial. They're not ready for trial. They're ready for trial, which is, can be a lengthy process for the family that's awaiting some kind of justice for what happened to their loved one.